In this video, I want to give you some quick tips for dogs that want to chase children and how you can stop dogs from chasing children. And I have a quick, easy tip that tends to be effective with like puppies and innocent type of chasing. If you've got like a really aggressive type of chasing, this is a different deal, but I'll, I'll kind of give you an overview of how to fix that problem as well. So the technique that you want to use for dogs chasing children is the be a tree method. See, essentially kids are like big squeaky toys for a dog. They squeak, they're, it's harder for the dog to understand. And to give you an idea of how much harder they are, if you've got a dog and you're working with your dog, you're usually standing up. Try getting on your hands and knees or laying on the ground so that you're at your dog's level and watch how much more excited and how much more energy exists in your dog when you're down at the lower level. Don't quite know what it is. Maybe somebody else out there does. I just know that it exists. So children and smaller things are just harder for dogs to be good at. So the problem then becomes uh, some stuff inside the dog as well, but it also it becomes with the kids because the kids, when they're down and a dog's chasing them, they start squealing, they start hitting, they start running. Well, that's all exciting for a dog. And so it just makes the problem worse as I'm sure you kind of already know. So the way to fix it is to, a great way, is to teach the kids to be a tree. I'm talking about little kids here, they're running, squealing, it is to be a tree. And what you do is you get some pants on your kids, so you get some jeans and some coats, so when the, the dog jumps up on the kids and its nails kind of scratch down the leg, that their, or their, their, their tummies or their arms, that kind of thing that doesn't scratch them, and you have your dog go out and, and play around in the yard with your kids and the kids are running around and so you're going to tell the kids okay kids go run and the dog's out there and they run the kids the dog starts to to jump up on them and when uh if the dog does jump on them you show them how to be a tree which just means stop stand still let the dog jump on you and it'll teach them that when they stand still most dogs especially little puppies that are doing this in the beginning will stop and the, the kids are now boring so they don't play with them anymore and the dog goes away and that's how you do this. And so it teaches the kids to have confidence that they have a tool for calming the dog down. Now this is just with chasing. If the dog wants to then chew on their coats and things, that's a different technique. I teach all that kind of stuff over my obedience programs. We have free classes we give out at freedogclass.com that you can go check out if that's another issue. There's certainly lots of issues that can spin off of this, but I'm giving you one particular one. And so uh, then what you can do is you can work with your dog so that you have some treats or some toys and you keep working with those while working with the kids so that as the kids are seeing the dog come up and they start to be a tree, you want to get them to start to be a tree before the dog actually jumps on them. If they be a tree, the, the, while the dog's chasing and the dog sees them not being funny anymore and turns off, you can then say, good, and give your dog a treat. And when you start giving your dog a treat repeatedly, where this treat could be you play tug with him with a rope, you could throw a ball for him, you could actually give him a, a treat, a little dog treat or a piece of cheese or, or something like that. You could just pet him on the bed, uh, the butt or the belly or whatever, whatever your dog likes enough. And you, you repeat this enough that you only do this when the dog resists jumping on the child when they're a tree and he gets a treat. Not once he jumps on them and then comes off of your kid. He has to never touch your kid at all when they become a tree and he gets rewards. You will drastically improve the likelihood that your child will uh, have a tool and your dog will know and understand how to not jump on kids. Now, I wanna, that, that's the be a tree method for dogs chasing children and how to fix it. However, there is a more advanced version of this and it's much more advanced. And it's uh, too complex to go into here. In fact, I'm right now, uh, we have a, an advanced program. It's called the Ultimate Companion Dog Program that we are teaching. The, the program's closed right now, so it's not available for sale. Uh, if you wanted to sign up on our email list uh, for the next class, you can you could do that, but I, 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 I'm not going to talk about that here. And that is that you can train what's called a, uh, what would you call this, an environmental trigger. So what you can do is you can train your dog to do a certain behavior when it sees things it's in, in its environment that, are, uh, that it would want to chase. And so an example would be a squirrel, somebody running in front of you, a bicycle running by, a ball that you throw, those sorts of things. And so what can happen is there's a game you can teach your dog called Look at You, where if you, uh, that, that you can slowly train your dog to look at you when it sees exciting things in its environment. And done repeatedly, I can't get into all of the, the specifics here, but when done repeatedly, often enough, 
what you will end up with is a dog that when it sees something happen in its environment that is running in front of it that it wants to chase, it will immediately look at you because it knows that it gets amazing rewards through a whole process that takes uh, a while to train. It's about an eight week training process to be honest with you, but it can be trained. And I thought you might want to know that at least it, it, it existed uh, in case that's something you maybe you're interested in training. So uh, that's a quick tip for dogs that are chasing children, how to fix it with the Be A Tree method, and uh, at least letting you know that the more advanced method exists. If you're interested in more stuff like this, go check out freedogclass.com for more free tips that I give away.